Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Keep's Kitchen. This week, I decided to do something outside of the season. All right, so, you know, when you go in for an interview, they tell you dress for the job you hope to get, not the job you're applying for. And the idea is you make yourself uh, kind of look towards the future and hopefully your employer will too. Um, well, in this particular case, I am cooking for the weather that I wished that I was in and not the weather I'm currently in. So this week, we're making beef stew. We're making beef stew with a ton of stew beef, a ton of vegetables, beef stock, butter, thyme, rosemary. I'm excited about it. Hopefully you're excited about it. Let's get cooking. To begin, place a pot on the stove and turn your heat onto medium high and add in about three tablespoons of butter. We're gonna let that melt down and uh, get nice and bubbly before we add in our vegetables. This is a large recipe, so I have quite a bit of vegetables. Here you'll notice I have one whole chopped onion. I've got about five cloves of minced garlic, two sticks of celery chopped up, two carrots, and one very large potato. Add all of that uh, into the melted butter and stir to combine and cook on that medium high heat for about five to seven minutes until everything becomes fragrant and slightly soft. Now let's add some beef. So here I've got about two and a half pounds of stew beef. You can use uh, any kind of um, cubed uh, beef. Yeah, you don't. I wouldn't recommend any sort of ground beef. You're going to want it to be bigger chunks because um, you don't want it to break down too much as you cook. So add that right to the pan and uh, stir it in, break up the, um, the chunks of beef, and then we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients. So here I've got a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You could also use diced tomatoes. If you didn't have crushed, either way it doesn't really matter. You want a 28 ounce can. And then you're going to add in four cups of beef stock. So four cups of beef stock translates to one whole container. And uh, that's going to be your main liquid source besides the liquid from the vegetables and the um, tomatoes. Finally, we'll add in some spices. So here I have some rosemary and some thyme. I have about a tablespoon of each. I'm just gonna add that in, stir it through, and then you are ready to pop the lid on and leave this on the stove to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour for this very first cook. And make sure every 10 or 15 minutes or so, you're taking the lid off the pot and stirring the stew. That just makes sure that uh, nothing gets stuck to the bottom and that there's uh, even liquid coverage all around. After that first cook period of about 45 minutes to an hour uh, is up, take the lid off, take a look. This is what it'll look like. you see it's thickened up really nicely. And that's just from the potatoes. We haven't added any flour or any other thickening agents, just the potatoes. So now we're going to reduce the heat um, to medium low and simmer on the stovetop for another 45 minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. Once the 45 minutes is up, grab a bowl, grab a ladle, put it right into the bowl. There's no need to do anything fancy here. All right, just grab your stuff and you're good to go. So I am so excited to try this beef stew. I, it's been really hard. The house has smelled wonderful. I keep stepping outside just to see, and maybe, maybe I'll step outside and it'll be like 65. It wasn't, it was like 90. But you know, I, uh, it's, it's, it's the thought, it's the feeling that counts. Food brings back memories. And uh, this one is bringing back memories of a cooler time. So I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna try to get a bite that simultaneously has everything in it, but also doesn't burn my mouth. So I don't know how successful that will be. I might have to settle for uh, some meat, potatoes and carrots, which, you know, that's okay. 
Here it is. It's hot. Alright, let's try it. Hmm. So, right off the bat, it really does just taste like fall. Um, all those flavors are really classic together in beef stew. Uh, carrots, potatoes, celery, onion, uh, garlic. If you really want to pizzazz it up, you could add some red wine. I did not, um, but you could have, you know? And uh, that would just kind of add to that real holiday feeling of it. And then the beef is awesome. Now, I didn't salt this or pepper it. The only seasonings that I added um, were the herbs, the uh, thyme and rosemary, but one of my favorite. This is like a Keeps Kitchen secret, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, all right? Flaky salt, all right? This flaky salt is from a company called Malden Salt Company. Not sponsored, I wish, I wish I was. Um, and they make this delicious, just flaky sea salt. And it's a finishing salt, so you really don't wanna use it for um, cooking, because it's just kinda, it's, it's not a uniform shape, so you can't really measure with it. But it's really good to put on top of food, and um, I'm gonna put some on this beef and see if it changes anything. I'm sure it will, let's find out. Mm -hmm. That's the way to go. The thing I like about that, you can salt either if you're if you're kind of uh, I don't I don't know the term, but you really are concerned about the flavor of your food. You can salt each bite individually. You can just put a little bit of salt on top, whatever. You don't have to add it during the cooking um, because I feel like once you get too salty of a stew, there's no fix. So. This is really great, and I'm really happy that I made this, uh, despite some of the naysayers uh, in my family. We're like, why are you making stew um, in, in the winter? Or in the, oh, it's not the winter. See, it feels like the winter because I'm eating the stew. <sighs> this is great. So I hope you go out and make this. If you don't, that's okay. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be upset if you don't, but I think you're really doing yourself a disservice if you don't. So anyway, this has been another episode of Geese Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye.